Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is a fantastic project from one of my favorite users, Brian. He reached out and said, hey, I want to make this house, but I want to space the 12 windows evenly. Friends, I've got an awesome technique. Let me show you how to do it. Remember, friends, when you bring a shape out, if you hold shift and stretch it, you can then click the box, type that number, and it snaps. Now notice this does not have rounded sides, and Brian's does. That's because he did this. And then he changed his height to 40. We can do that afterwards. Now because I have clicked a few times, that scale trick is canceled, and bingo, we have got the main shape. Let's add the roof with the cone. Once again, if you put the work plane on top and bring out the cone, that is easy peasy. We know that we need 80. He chose 20, so watch this. We're gonna go over here, and for the base radius, we're gonna type 40. That gives you a diameter of 80, which is perfect. Now I want the sides of this to be super round, so I'm gonna make it 64, and then we're gonna keep that height of 20. I'm gonna put the work plane back down on the ground by pressing W, which is the shortcut, and then clicking out here on the blue edge. I'm gonna select those two, press the letter L, which is a line, and I want them to be centered and centered. So we've got the base of the house. I'm gonna keep my co colors. I am gonna steal his door, which was 15 by 20 by 20. By doing Control D, I'm gonna do Shift Select. So those two shapes are selected. I'm gonna choose a line, and I want the center and front edge. I'm gonna pull that towards me one so that it cuts out. Real quickly, if we look underneath, he was gonna cut the walls in, which is a super cool idea. I'm going to do control D and then I'm going to take my cylinder and I'm going to do shift stretch but instead of a larger number I'm going to go back to 78 and press enter. I'm going to make that a hole. If we can look under there you can see that is not quite aligned so I'm going to select those two press the letter L and I'm going to choose center and I'll look at this from the corner. I like to remind you guys it makes a lot more sense if you can see all three of those to know you've got the middle and then when I group it now we've got our cool walls of our building. Friends, it is time to get the awesome windows. Check this out. We're going to search for something called Circular Array. So I'm just typing Circ, and then I'm bringing out this fellow right here. Now, you can see the shape. We could adjust all this, but we're not going to. We're going to use the square. This shape right here, I'm going to do W for the work plane so we can check it. It is 10 by 10 on a side. Now, if I do work plane from down here, those measurements don't show up. Make sure if you ever want to check something, you get the work plane so it's connected to that shape. All right, friends, so now that we know that this is 10 by 10, this circular array is 20 high. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to change it to 10 high. Now, one of the cool things is this thing defaults to 10 by 10. You can see that's the same size window, so all we need to do now is do 12, and bingo, it spaces it perfectly. Now just by dumb chance, check it out, the radius is 40, so it actually lines up. How crazy is that? We do need to make it a hole, and we've got one issue. Let me show it to you. So I'm going to do Shift Select. I'm going to hit the letter L for a line. I want it to be halfway up. Let's do F to fit view. And I want this choice, and I want this choice. Well, friends, check it out. We are running into our door. That is a problem, but are you ready for this? There is a solution. If we change the angle to less than 360, like say 270 degrees, bingo, it gives the gap. We can now select those windows and rotate it so that the gap fits right where we want. If you want something more like 290, you can adjust it and then instantly get your windows right where you want, which I think is pretty darn awesome. I'm going to make my roof a special color. I'm going to choose a blue today. I like to show you things like custom colors. You can pick any blue you want. I'm going to grab the rest of this and do Control G to group it. I'm going to pick a fun color for that. I'm going to go with a yellow. Let's go with that right there. And friends, there you have it. Simple steps to evenly space windows on a circular object. Friends, as I wrap this up quick, I'm going to hit F to fit view with them all selected. I'm going to drag them to the middle of my project so it's a little more organized. Friends, real quickly as I wrap up this project, I want to shut off 
the grid. I always like it when it's clean when I'm finished, so I think that's a better image. And then I also want to show you how easily you can make your cool design public as you fill it with more and more awesome stuff. So we click the Tinkercad button, and then we go right here to the gear. Under properties, I'm going to tell you to name it give it a description of course my description is going to mention the tutorial which i'm going to add in a moment also remember to tag it i'm going to add a house tag on here don't forget if you want me to automatically see your work if you do hlmt 23 i search that all the time to see what kind of things were added so it's a good way to show me what you create and then make sure you set it to public the final one that i recommend is no derivatives and of course the reason i choose no derivatives is because i want people to follow the tutorials and gain some skills when you're done with that hit save changes and the whole world will be able to check out your design by simply clicking on the gallery and switching from staff picks to recent I like to switch it to this button so I can see more designs at once and then check out baby's crib whenever you see one that you think is cool make sure you click on it and give it a reaction as well and then of course friends while you're in Tinkercad you can keep an eye up here for all of your notifications friends as I wrap up I want to say I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of cool creations you make with your house and I want to say thanks again to Brian for the idea Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. You're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.